All right, folks, welcome to the censored versus sinkhole video where we talk about whatever we want and we change the format however we like, which we've done today. We're going to take on sort of a, a Ben Shapiro esque quality here during today's censored versus sinkhole video. And we're going to talk about some things that we strongly dislike and some things that we strongly like. Let's start out with the Internet of Things. Not a fan of the next several slides. Are you aware of the Internet of Things? Are you aware that if you have a smart faucet or a smart toilet, that it's doing things like sending all kinds of data to third parties? Were you aware? Well, we've got links to this article, courtesy Zero Hedge, originally posted at Mass Privatel blog. The Internet of Things is sending your data, possibly where you don't want it to be sent. Check out this Extreme Tech article. Oh yeah, it's leaking data, folks. Check it out. I mean, all over the place. Uh, let's see here. Sending MAC addresses, which are individual device IDs, all over the internet. And Depending on where you're at, what country you're in, it's going to send at different places, as different countries have different restrictions on this nonsense. And this is all this is all to track your your purchasing and all that sort of stuff, so that these companies can sell your data to other companies and profit from the great great convenience of your internet connected things. Why you would ever want your home connected to the internet, I have no idea. I mean, you can set up automated systems to run this stuff without having it actually connected to the internet. You could have programmable thermostats and all that sort of stuff. There's no need to connect this stuff to the, to the internet. And anyway, they, they've done an extreme amount of research here. 72 of 81 devices have at least one destination that is not a first party. That is somebody besides the device, the, the device manufacturer. So it's pretty interesting what's going on with the Internet of Things. And, uh, yeah, how smart is your smart device, really? Let's talk about more stuff we don't like. Google. Google's YouTube junkware platform has been wrecking our thumbnails, wrecking our titles, our descriptions, and some of our uploads have been vanishing. Some of our videos have been switched to private for no reason. Some get demonetized for no reason and fail the manual review. So we're creating a mountain of evidence. We're coming for you, Google. You can't escape, Google. Let's talk about something else I hate. Censorship. We got censored last year on Facebook big time. Not to mention shadow banned constantly as... Facebook probably has us in some sort of political class, despite being basically apolitical on these videos. Let's talk about something else I hate. Inflation. Guess who causes the inflation? The Federal Reserve. Now, a lot of people are really down on capitalism right now. And yet, practically nobody alive has ever experienced it. Because... Capitalism's been gone since 1913 when the Federal Reserve Act was signed into law by Woodrow Wilson. I don't know if you were aware, but guess what? QE's about to start again, folks. Guess who's been creating the boom-bust cycles? The Federal Reserve. Guess what they're about to do again? Devalue your currency. Now, of course, devaluation is the real effect of inflation here. People think that, oh, prices are rising. Prices are not rising, folks your money is being devalued. Now, banks are, are pushing for a 2.5% inflation rate because their business model requires it due to things like fractional reserve banking. We won't get into it, but when prices go up and it's a result of more money being added to the money supply, that's a devaluation of your currency, not a real price increase. Keep in mind, price increases happen because of a supply-demand sort of an issue. For instance, uh, if we discovered more gold, the price of gold would go down because the demand would be largely the same. The supply would go up. That's the way economics really works. The Federal Reserve is muddying the waters 
by creating massive bond buyback programs. Let's talk about something else I hate. Science alert. Nonsense alerts. Global climate strike. Yes, we read this nonsense every day. And uh, yeah, they're talking about carbon sequestration. Another idea that we hate and think is utterly idiotic. As, uh, you know, the average carbon dioxide on the planet is like 1,200 parts per million or 1,000 parts per million, somewhere around two to three times as much carbon as we have in the atmosphere now. It's not a pollutant. It's not a greenhouse gas in the context of making the earth warmer in any way. It doesn't correlate with temperature in any way except that higher carbon dioxide levels seem to trail temperature by about 800 years. So we implore you, please burn a tire and please tell your local legislator, or perhaps your national legislator, to get rid of this idea of carbon sequestration. Carbon is not a pollutant. Carbon dioxide is not a pollutant. Never was a pollutant. It's plant food. Deal with it. In fact, let's have more carbon, because it doesn't warm the planet. And even if it did, that would be a good thing, too, since warm is good for your health and cold is bad for your health. Did you listen to Tim Ball yesterday on... Uh, on the Glenn Beck program? Well, go check it out if you haven't. Here's something else I'm not a fan of. Drugs being illegal. Yes, I think all drugs should be legal. All of them. I don't care if it's meth or heroin or I don't care. They should all be legal. Because legalizing all drugs would cause criminal cartels to evaporate in about two weeks. Because their money supply would dwindle very quickly. Their lifestyle would go away. Infighting would cause their entire organizations to collapse. Hey, check it out, Guatemala. It's the murder capital of the world. I think it's. I think Guatemala has the most murders per capita of anybody else. Check it out. They're bragging about the fact that they're not just a drug trafficking hub anymore. Now they produce tons of cocaine, too. Well done, Guatemala. Well done. If we just legalized it, you could do an eight ball every couple of days for about 80 bucks a week talk about stuff I like. Mars Argo's video, Run Away, Run Away. This is basically a, basically a critique on the internet itself. Let's play you a clip. Yeah, it's so predictable, folks. The fact that you're going to be censored <laughs> whenever you get anywhere near the internet. You're going to be shadow banned if you say anything that companies like Google and Facebook disagree with. So check it out. Mars Argo, run away, run away. It's, uh, you're not going to see many videos from this band. It's really only a two-piece. And it's just an amazing video. So It's good time, seriously. Anyway, I think she settled her recent lawsuit with one of her one of her former colleagues or whatever you want to call it. Let's talk about something else I love, the band Rush. We're going to do a daily Rush lyrics section, perhaps. Check this one out. Leave out the fiction. The fact is, this friction will only be worn by persistence. Leave out conditions. Courageous convictions will drag the dream into existence. Let's talk about more stuff I like. How about the Jupiterian moon eclipse? It's a lunar eclipse on Jupiter, folks. That's the shadow of Io passing across the surface of Jupiter. Links to this article as well as every other tab that we covered below the video. Talk about something else I like. Laughing at Facebook and Facebook's censorship and shadow bans and nonsense. We're on there anyway. We're also on Gab. Check out yesterday's awesome thumbnail. Too bad it's not on YouTube anymore because YouTube screwed up our thumbnail for the third or fourth day in a row. I'm not even sure how many days, folks. You know, it will be fun to only upload a video once and create a title and a description and a thumbnail. But nope, we get to do it multiple times every day. Thanks a lot, Google. We'll be billing you later for that. Also, check us out on Minds, minds.com slash smash We've just surpassed half a million views there. Despite only have 700, 
despite only having 709 subscribers. So check us out there, minds.com slash smashomash. Perhaps send us some tokens as we're tanking everywhere, which is why we have a Patreon account, because our associate producers via Patreon are keeping this channel afloat. Certainly not YouTube, as these videos are monetized for Google and not for us. YouTube pays us precisely zero for these videos. So thanks, Smash Team, and don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for a couple of bonus features. All right, maybe only one bonus feature. Well, we found a new Gamma Ray Neutron Star Pulsar, and uh, it seems to be rotating 707 times a second. And uh, we're going to have to pour through a lot of data to figure out what the scenario is with this. And we're probably going to discover that a lot of pulsars emit gamma radiation. So we've got to we've got to do a ton of data crunching. And uh, links to the article there. It's uh, pretty interesting. You won't be able to track this object on the Neil Gorel Swift Bat Observatory because it's not there yet. But perhaps it will be there in the near future. Gamma ray pulsar. Interesting stuff. And. Uh, Let's just say there are implications for cosmology. Now this one is located somewhere between 4,000 and 12,000 light years in our own Milky Way galaxy. And when we look at these things, we have a bit of trouble telling their distance because of the way the, uh, the, way the telescopes are trying to measure things like redshift to figure out the distance to the objects. Now this is a binary and uh, we think it is pretty silly the, the way they're calculating that the, uh, the, the star is 1 50th the mass of the sun or something, making it less in mass than Jupiter and yada, yada, yada. Uh, you know, the, these, these, mass me these mass measurements are also, they're entirely created by looking at the orbital paths of these things. And so, uh, again, welcome to the neo-Renaissance, folks. Cosmology is being rewritten before your very eyes. As these things do not behave based on gravity, they base they they behave. Their motions are governed by things like electrical current, electromagnetic fields. However, you want to call it. Speaking of calling it, it's about time to call it a day and go watch our own premiere. We're going to be encoding this video while the premiere gets viewed. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget to press like, press subscribe here on YouTube. Become our next patron, perhaps. You'll see the updates before anybody else. Remember, when you're liking and hating various articles on the internet, don't drink. And if you drink, like and hate various articles on the internet anyway. Just don't drive. And uh, we are out of here. It's time to view our own video. So please join the live stream. And I'm talking preemptively here. Ha <laughs> ha! Because you won't see this until the premiere is already complete. So in any case, if you haven't watched our daily space weather video, go watch it. There was a coronal mass ejection, and it won't be one that causes the human civilization to say bye-bye. But in any case, bye-bye.